my cookies from Shana. Guys, today we are going to bake chocolate chip cookies with frosted hazelnuts. The best recipe ever. It's going to be chewy inside and crispy outside. And we are going to use pan banging techniques. And if you're not too sure what it is, stick around and watch me. So guys, now let's start making our chocolate chip cookies with the hazelnuts. So what we need? We need one cup of brown sugar, it goes in, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, okay, granulated sugar, and so we're going to mix all this, our sugar. So guys, now what we do, so two sticks of butter, which is one cup of butter and uh, or it's 225 grams, okay? So I'm going to put in a small pan and what we're going to do, we're going to go to the stove and I'm going to melt the butter, okay? I'm going to brown the butter a little bit and why I'm doing this, it's a um, much better taste, it's, uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay guys, so as I'm going to show you, so we're at the stove and I melted the butter, okay? So just a little bit, like I would say another minute just to brown the butter a little bit, which will give amazing taste to our cookies. That's very important. Don't skip that, um, that part. Okay, so that's good. It's melted. So guys, our melted butter goes inside our mixture, our sugar, okay? So now I'm going to mix butter and sugar. Mix really well. Okay, so we keep mixing. Now, what we are going to do? Now we're going to mix our dry ingredients. We're going to use two and a half cups of uh, flour. Okay. So let's see. This is our one cup.
So we mix that. And now slowly we are going to add our uh, flour. Okay? So our dry ingredients. Slowly. You remember, I want to remind you, two and a half cups of flour. Okay? So guys, now we put two and a half cups of flour. So, and we mix it all well. Try not to over mix a lot. Okay, so now, what we are going to do now? We are going to use um, chocolate. So I'm not using chocolate chips, and I'm using like real chocolate. So it's, um, I'm using 78% cocoa. It's uh, from, I'm using chocolate lint. That's the best one, I love this. So that's 78%, um, this is 100 grams. And I'm going to use another one dark chocolate. It's lint too. It cleaned Swiss classic. I'm using that one, 100 grams. The so total is 200 grams of chocolate. So what I'm doing now, I want to show you. So I'm going to um, just, um, let me show you. Okay, so what I'm going to do like this. Guys, I want you to come and have a close look. I'm going to use this. I'm going to chop like a pieces like this, okay? I want to show you. So it's not the chips, it's just roughly. Okay, so that's how it goes. Okay. So now all this chocolate goes inside Okay, guys, look at this, so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, this is the best recipe ever. And now this is our roasted hazelnuts. So you can do this way. You can chop a little bit as well. Like, you know, you have to roast it a little bit. Or you can just um, use like that, you know, it's up to you. I can just use like this. The smell is amazing. So you roast a little bit. So you put in the oven for a few minutes, roast it, and then I peel off the skin, okay? So that's beautiful. I wanted to see how gorgeous it is, guys. Look, look at this mixture. And so we are going to mix all this. Okay guys, so let's summarize all our ingredients, okay? So we used one cup of brown sugar, uh, three quarters of a cup of white sugar, granulated sugar. Then we used uh, two tablespoons of amaretto, one egg, two sticks, and which is like one cup of melted butter, and uh, two and a half cups of flour. I used um, uh, pastry flour and one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder. That's all. And I used um, chocolate, which is 200 grams. I used a uh, combination of dark chocolate and 78% of chocolate. I used lean. That's my favorite chocolate, but you can use any other chocolate you like. And uh, what else? And I used half cup of um, roasted hazelnuts okay so now i want you to come and look invite yourself to the bowl and uh, i want you to show you the how beautiful mixture is and that's um our cookies is going to be beautiful okay so now what we're doing now so i took a pan okay so we don't need to pre-grease nothing like that because it's uh, it's already there is a butter inside. Oh, guys, so what I did, so I took a measuring cup, so it's a quarter of a cup, and uh, I take like that my own mixture and I make like um like like this, okay, small little bowls. But that's a measurements for you how much you are going to use, like that. Come and sh uh, come, guys. I want you to see. So that's how it looks like. So don't put too close, okay? So they have to be like, like that apart because you remember I said we are going to use pen banging techniques, which is uh, like that, okay? So that's how we do. So guys, now I want you to see 
what happened and all those trains goes to the fridge for at least one hour okay if you're really really in rush and you don't have time half an hour and then i'm going to see in a half an hour okay guys so i just pulled them out from the fridge okay so they've been for one hour and you remember i mentioned that i'm going to do pen bang techniques and i will tell you what it is so now we have to put them like not too close to each other so i would say okay like that okay so that's probably good and here how many do we have okay i'm going to use like that okay so guys first one goes to the oven don't put them too close okay like this okay so goes to the oven 350 degrees for uh first it's we have to keep checking on them in a 10 to 12 minutes and i will tell you exactly then we will pull them out and you're going to see what we'll do and then they went back to the oven first goes to the oven 350 degrees for around 10 to 12 minutes okay okay guys now i pulled them out and look what we are going to do see and uh, the ear went down. see now it's they went flat and now it goes back to the oven and for another three to four minutes okay see how flat they became guys see flat right away so guys i just pulled them out from the oven okay look how beautiful they are so they have to stay like that for five minutes okay so let's repeat so you put them in the oven for 350 degrees for 11 minutes then you take them out and you do you remember how i said pan banging banging technique so we bring them down and then we put them back in the oven for another four minutes okay and so now they're so beautiful they have to stay like that for um another five minutes and i'm going to put another tray okay i'm going to see some guys i want you to come and see we're going to open one it's still nice and warm but i want to see i don't know which one we're going to open we can open any one like this one or that one so beautiful okay guys look i'm going to open and you see what's inside so it's very crispy outside right and look how beautiful it is guys that's absolutely amazing look oh my god mm. oh my god mm. Mm. so good look look at this one how it's soft delicious mm. I can't stop oh my god this is the best recipe ever you can find for chocolate chip cookies with roasted hazelnut amazing guys tada it's ready i want you to come and look look how beautiful it is and i mean i know i tried already but i can't resist i want to open for you again i want you to see i just want you to look look at this guys that's absolutely amazing it's 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 the best recipe ever and um, i want to say don't forget that techniques pan bang techniques it works and um i want to say thank you so much for watching me and i will see you next time on my cooking show don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Bye-bye.